Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Janice with me and it's, it's cool. Her son actually grew up with me. He's my age. Um, another cool thing is her daughter teaches Braylon. So my 11 year old. So yeah, she teaches fifth grade. And anyway, she has taught all my five kids, her daughter, and they absolutely love, love, love her. So that's a little bit about Janice. And, um, but she has a darling haircut and I want to show you guys. She has lots and lots of hair, <laughs> lots of hair, huh? Yes. Um, and it's very curly. Um, the texture of it. You can see it's not kinky curly, but she has a lot of it. Um, so I want to show you guys a good cut for this. Um, she definitely likes it short here in the back and tapered. Okay, so I'm going to come over here on this side. Okay, and then we're just gonna clean this up a little bit. Yeah, so it's it's kind of cool that <clears throat> her grandson and my Briggs are you know buddies. They're the same age too, and I don't know. It's kind of fun. There's a lot of a lot of things like that. Like a lot on. of connection. Yes, a lot of connection. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here, but I'm gonna show you how tight I come down here after a minute. So up top, she likes it short, um, you know, just, just easy to throw uh, the flat iron through. And I'll show you that at the end also. Okay, so from about here down, I just honestly touch as close as I can to her head You can see my fingers are right against her scalp. <clears throat> so that's tight. And then up here, again, I just point cut into this. And point cutting is important, especially for thick hair also, um, because you can, you can get more uh, texture with it, I guess you could say. If, if you cut it all straight and being, you know, very, Thick, it can look rounded um, if that makes sense and so just any different length you can get in there which this is like obviously the same length but just point cutting into it that little bit helps so so much okay so I'm leaving this I'm not taking as much off these sides because we're gonna leave these sides just the length they are we're just kind of trimming this into the sides okay so up here, I took a little bit more, but not much. Okay, now, again, I'm coming in tight. Okay, so just point cut into this a little bit. Little bit here. And then of course I'm gonna to start to angle this down. Okay, now I wanted I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This is such a good cut for hearing aids. So um, what you want to do is we're gonna leave this a little bit longer. So we're obviously gonna cut into this. But the other thing that Janice likes is to keep a little bit of length back there. Um, not only to kind of, you know, hide it a little. I mean, it does, it's okay. But she says not only that is that that hair kind of helps it stay on. So anyway, we're just going to trim that a little bit. Um, and about down half of her ear, so that's a little bit longer, but from that area down, I'm gonna take this bulk off at the bottom, because she likes that really tight. So you can go really tight, 
on this bottom and then just taper it up. See, so you have that length to go over that a little bit. Okay, all right, so now for this other side, what we'll do is start at the top, point cut into that. And then start taking that closer to the scalp. Okay, now remember, um, you know, a little bit here on the sides, just not as much as the top. Okay, and then of course down here, I can take that more tight through this area. Okay, and then we're gonna leave this length, but we are going to trim. So there's that length there. Okay, awesome. All right, now the top, we're gonna to come straight across and start point cutting into that. And it is heavy this time. <laughs> is that super heavy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, especially yeah. like, and I bet there's ladies out there laughing like, I know, I feel your pain. Because <laughs> like having this much hair and, you know, because some people will be like, wait, you don't need your hair cut. Like it's short. It's like, oh no, <laughs> they need their hair cut. <laughs> I mean, it does. Like she said, it's so heavy and it's just hanging. And so it's, it's fun to get it all textured. For sure okay and remember through this area I'm just trimming because she wants to keep that length okay and then I'm point cutting into this so yeah you'll feel really good to have some texture after mm -hmm. today <laughs> I will okay so and and like Jana says I mean we can still have this short you know shorter but she just doesn't want to cut around the ears so that's what's nice, is you can kind of come up here, cut into that, and have that be a little bit, you know, shorter and not, just kind of make sure it's connected. Awesome. And then just open and shut the shears back and forth and kind of piece this out here in the front. And I will with the texturizing shears too, to make that so it's not all blunt. But you can see how, you know, that's a little bit longer back there, but it's a little shorter there. So it'll just kind of hold that on. And then I'll, I'll fix a little bit of this after we style it, because I want to see how tight it is and see um, if I need to do any fixing back there. Okay, so sides again, just barely trimming the sides because we want to, Keep that link through the side area. Okay. And then hold this out a little bit. Okay, again, we can go short. And then you can take from that short back to the length back there and connect it. So you can see that. Okay, and then take the shears in through here, point, or you know, back and forth, open and shut the shears in little, just little motions, not big motions or you're gonna take a chunk. <laughs> so. All right. No, wait. Do you go to a side or is it just kind of um, down and up? To the... To the rat right. side. <laughs> to what side is that? To the left. For you, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. We will just go ahead and come in and take a little bit of this length off of these bangs. Yeah, it got quite long when I 
didn't come in a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, so so she actually was supposed to come a couple of weeks ago. Um, and the poor girl's been sick, but she's doing better finally. So that's awesome. But yeah, it's so it's even two weeks past what she usually does. So <laughs> all right, sweetie. Now what we'll do, I just want to make sure these backs by the ears are even. Okay, and now we are going to texture. So this is what Janice loves, <laughs> yeah. is this will help it so it's not heavy. This takes some of the hair out. Um, this has the closer teeth. And I like to come through those sides just so they're not thick and bulky for her. Okay, and then back here through the back. And it's so much easier for her to dry, not having all the extra <laughs> back here. <laughs> okay, then I'm just gonna comb this out. And then because she has, um, like I say, it's not kinky curly, but she has a lot of it, and um, it's more on the curly side, I am just going to use a little bit of the fit. It's called Frizz Fix. Sorry, the top of my lid broke, so I have to do this. So I'm just gonna rub this in. This will help smooth it out. And a little bit of blowout cream. And that will protect it because I'm gonna put the flat iron on it. So it will protect it and it helps dry a lot faster. Okay, so now, obviously with curly hair, you're not gonna wanna like mess it with it a ton or it's gonna be go more frizzy. So, you, I'm gonna drag this back down. You can just kinda bring your fingers down through it. So instead of like doing this, just kind of put your fingers through it a little bit and don't like ruffle with it a lot. You can just bring your fingers down. I'm just using my definitely recommend is with curly hair you want a good flat iron um, you know a lot of people have a hard time like styling their hair um, and it could be either the product that you're putting in it isn't strong enough or maybe it's too heavy um, or it's the hot tools that you use um, it definitely makes a huge difference um, now this one you obviously, some can turn up to like 450 or some even higher. Um, so it depends on the health of your hair, uh, how hot you want to get it. Um, now Janice, she, she has healthy hair. Um, the good thing about this flat iron is it actually 
um, will feel the porosity of your hair, which means how dry it is or, or not dry it is. So <clears throat> that is one thing that I love about this one is it adjusts, it just, the, heat. It it adjusts, adjusts the heat, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, it adjusts to your porosity of your hair. So then back here, I just pull straight up. And then of course back here, it's just down. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of clay to piece it out. And it's, it's just so cute on her. It's short and easy, fun. It's a little bit spiky, not tons of spike. Like it has, it's just a fun, modern, good. Make it easy is what we like. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's the way to put it. That's, that's the key word to the haircut is easy. <laughs> easy is what we like. So you can see back here, like it still looks mm. cute, but it's, we've just left it a little bit longer. So that will hide those. Okay, Janice, I'm gonna turn you in the in the mirror here and see what we think. Oh, that looks cute. Is that, that good? Is that okay? That. Yes. Awesome. Good, good. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it and then I'll turn Janice around one more time so you can have the final look. And back here, it looks good. I don't think I need to, to fix anything back there. So I'm gonna turn her around. You can see how it's tight back there. A little bit fuller through here, but tight and short in the front. That so it's really cute. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for letting us record it. Yes. Such a <laughs> gorgeous gal she is. Okay, well, thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate your support. Good to see you. Um, you can go ahead and jump on my email list. I would love that. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See ya.